Hello everyone and welcome to this Health ABC video on cataracts. Topics that we're going to cover in this video are learning what a cataract is, how a cataract can present symptomatically in a patient. Next, we'll cover any preventative measures that we can take to avoid developing cataracts. After that, we're going to learn what treatment options we have. And finally, for those whose thirst for knowledge wasn't quenched by this video, where you can go to learn more about cataracts. But before we get going, I want to inform you that this talk is created by a medical student solely for the purpose of patient education and is not to be used as medical advice and does not replace seeing your doctor. If you think you have a cataract, schedule an appointment with an ophthalmologist near you. So let's jump in. What is a cataract? Well, I think before we learn what a cataract is, it's helpful to understand a little anatomy and the function of the eye. All of our eyes have a small little flexible ball-like structure called a lens, which is shown here in the top right picture. The purpose of this lens is to focus light from our environment onto a certain point on the back of our eye that controls our high definition vision, which is seen in this picture to the left. This lens can change its shape in an instant to view objects close to us and far away so that we may optimally see our surroundings. As we get older, our lens loses the ability to change its shape and it becomes harder and cloudier. Originally, our lens is clear like glass. When we develop a cataract, the lens starts to change color and develops gunk in it that makes it hard to see. How can we tell if we have a cataract? Commonly, people feel like their vision is very blurry. People will have a hard time seeing at night, usually due to glare coming off of other drivers' headlights. Additionally, images can look as if they're dull or even becoming yellow. It's important to know that cataracts are a normal part of aging. In fact, most cases occur in patients over the age of 60. However, young people can develop them too. It's just much less common. One of the leading factors that contributes to the development of cataracts is diabetes. However, by having good control of our blood glucose, by watching what we eat and consuming a carbohydrate conscious diet, we can decrease our chances of developing a cataract. Steroid medications, which are used as treatment for all sorts of things, can increase the likelihood of cataracts. Cataracts can also develop after eye trauma such as being hit in the eye by an object or body part. Lastly, by decreasing our intake of tobacco and alcohol, we are less likely to get a cataract. So if an ophthalmologist tells us we have a cataract, what can we do about it? Unfortunately, there are no medications that we can take to fix a cataract, so our only option is surgery. Surgery sounds scary, but cataract surgery is a very low-risk procedure. It takes about 10 to 20 minutes. The surgeon will cut out the discolored and hardened lens and implant a nice clear lens like the ones we were more, most likely born with. Most patients see a dramatic improvement in their vision within the next day or so. I've provided some links here that you can click on that will take you to some other websites to learn about cataracts. The last one is a link to an animated cataract surgery video. It's been a pleasure to talk to you today. Hopefully you learned something new. Check out more of our videos if you want to learn more about other health topics. Thanks and have a good day.